Hello my beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharon Knows Best here and today I have another tarot card reading for you guys, a pick a card edition. And today's topic was actually chosen by one of you guys. It was a request I got and the topic for today will be what do people see within your eyes? What do people recognize within you that you may not be aware of or that you might not see? I thought this was a great request, so shout out to you for this idea. And yes, don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel the vibe. And of course, comment down below if you have any requests, questions or ideas for videos things you want me to film or whatever else you want to leave in the comment section. Um, today I have four different crystals to represent the energy of your reading as always. Um, the timestamps will be down in the description box and in the comment section. So pile number one I have chosen this beautiful rainbow opal crystal heart for you guys and then for pile number two I have chosen this selenite crystal also in a heart shape and then for pile number three I have this druzy little crystal that is very beautiful and then we have pile number four with this clear crystal quartz as always, I will insert a clip of a close-up from for all the different crystals. You can pause the video, take your time, choose the pile with your intuition. And if you listen to your intuition and your gut feeling, then you should be guided to the right reading. Without further ado, let's just jump right in to your reading. Hello, hello, if you have chosen this beautiful opal heart crystal, then this is your reading. This is going to be pile number uno. Uno, dos, tres. Ah, you guys, I'm very happy to be back. It took a little while. It took a week. So today I'm just going to use my wider weight. Um, tarot and we're gonna see what will come up for you guys my pile number ones that will choose this crystal what do people see within your eyes what do people recognize within you that you may not see within yourself angels spirit guides please guide this reading only positive energy is allowed for this reading what do people see within your eyes that you may not recognize yourself okay a bunch of cards just flew out the first card was the knight of pentacles and then the second card, I know these cards are like really um, shiny, so I don't know if you can actually tell. But we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So I feel what people see within your eyes, because we have the Page of Pentacles, uh, the, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like people see within you or see in your eyes that you have a lot of honor because a knight this is the knight of pentacles the pentacles is the earth element so someone who's really grounded really stable the knight is someone who's really brave who has a lot of honor and i feel like people just think you are very grounded you're very brave and also that you are you have just a lot of honor, like you're an honest person, someone who's trustworthy, someone who will stand up for themselves and even for other people if, um, if needed. 
yeah, you're a knight. You're a knight in shining armor. Um, you're, you're, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a woman. It really does not. It's not about gender. It's more about the energy. So you have a lot of honor. You go for the things that you want. And the Knight of Pentacles is also really good with their finances, money, stable within their life. So people see within you that you are very grounded, stable. And I feel like you have a really deep stare. Like you have really nice, not just nice eyes, but you are very comforting. Like you're really, there's not like turmoil or chaos within your eyes. Like people look in your eyes and they feel this comfort. They feel this trust, um, this honor, this honesty, bravery. And this might be something that you don't see within yourself to be brave, to go for what you want. Maybe you think you're, you're not as brave or you're not brave enough in this world but people do see that you have so much potential to, to conquer your fears also. Then we have the Page of Swords. Yeah, I'm like getting you like a fighter. Like, and you don't even, you, you might not, or people um, see within your eyes that you don't care. You don't care what anybody else is saying. You trust your own intuition. You trust your own guidance. You make up your own mind and you're a really quick thinker. You're really good with communication. And like I feel like people feel like you're, you're really sharp and quick with your words. And also I feel like people see within your eyes that you're a dreamer. You dream, you have a lot of dreams, you have a lot of ambitions and things you want to accomplish in your life. I'm also getting like maybe you want to like um, build a family in this lifetime. Um, you just have really honorable amazing values and people can sense that about you. I'm also getting like dark hair. Like, I'm also getting dark eyes, but obviously, you know, multiple people are watching this video, so it doesn't have to be. Then we have the High Priestess, so I feel like people really see within your eyes that you are wise, that you are really honest, I already said that, but you're just almost divine, like people see you as this divine creature maybe you like are interested in things that not a lot of people are interested in like spirituality manifesting tarot readings um you have a, no a lot of knowledge and maybe this is also another thing you might not see within yourself that you are actually very wise very in in intelligent and i'm not talking about book smartness like i'm not talking about people that are book smart i'm talking about someone who has deep inner knowing good intuition and this emotional intelligence about themselves and that is something that you might not realize but people see that they straight up see that they feel it about you and that is something really beautiful and then we have the eight of cups with the eight of cups this often like represents people leaving or we have been left before um i feel like this could vary for multiple people um uh, the one scenario that i'm getting is that people see within your eyes also a little bit of sadness um or they see within you that you have suffered before and you had to turn your back on a situation. Could be a partner, family, toxic friends, um, something, you know, mental health. Um, anything that is a huge struggle, you kind of turned your back towards it, which is very, very powerful. And that is what I was saying before, that I feel like you're you're a fighter, you're a warrior, you know, warrior of light, <laughs> as I like to say. If you haven't read the book, you need to check it out. Um, yes. 
and maybe some sadness within you. Um, I'm getting also like mm, people might see within you that a family member has left or maybe died very early and you have struggled with it. There's some sort of sadness. This could also be that you're um, a child of a single parent, like you've been raised by your mother or your father and um, that has actually created a lot of lack in your life, a lot of struggle because you... I'm getting people see within your eyes or they have this vibe about you that it's hard to, to really get to know you. It might not be hard to get to know you on the surface, but it's really hard to get to know you deep, deep down like really get to know you and I feel like even if people get to know you get to know you and they know there's more there are so many like 50 shades of you <laughs> no. um, there's so many shades so many f facets so many layers to you that you're really mysterious but they also get this vibe or see within your eyes that there's some sort of hurt or lost and this could be that you lost a parent, lost a family member, or as I said, you were raised by a single parent, something like that. It could even be like a breakup within a relationship, um, some sort of sadness. Then I feel like, wow, we have the two of wands. I'm getting people see within you that you are super spontaneous, that you love to travel, and that you're just a very free thinking spirit like you're such a free spirit you don't like put put label on things you like to make up your own mind you like to reflect and people really see that within your eyes like they see the whole cosmos in your eyes like they see the world within you in your personality the way you the way you act the way you present yourself out in the world and it's very fascinating to people how you are and yeah interesting then we have the eight of pentacles and what i'm getting is that people see within you or see within your eyes that you have you are the full package like they feel like you have a lot of potential um what whatever you have been going through within your life you are lucky they see that you are lucky or you will be lucky and the the coin will flip on you. This is the Eight of Pentacles. I don't know if I already said that. Um, I'm definitely getting that people think you are lucky and you will make a good amount of money. Growing up or you already have that asset in your life or maybe you present yourself very um, abundant on like your social media maybe you're like in the public eye or something or you just like to post online and people really think like hey wow they you know they got the car they got the job they got like their little empire um just a good stable foundation maybe you have a really beautiful relationship with your partner something like that that people think is something that makes you seem rich and rich is not always money you know but I feel like people really think you're really lucky and you're gonna um, be very abundant throughout your life and you have an abundant soul like you know how the eyes are the door to your soul like people they don't only see it within your eyes because mm, I mean they do see it within your eyes but people really see that within you even if they're not like as reflected and they're like I see this and this and that in this person they just sense it they feel it that you're very abundant prosperous and that there's a lot coming for you guys <coughs> money wise travel wise I'm also feeling with the high priestess that they feel like maybe one day you're going to study again or there's going to be some sort of license, some sort of extra thing you're going to do within your life. <laughs> so I just picked an oracle card and it says, get grounded, empath, 
highly sensitives connect with nature. So people see within you that you are very, you are an empath, you're very empathic, um, you're highly sensitive, even if you don't see that within yourself, but people feel that you are very sensitive and with sensitive, I don't mean like, oh, you're gonna cry because something happened, blah, blah, blah. Just sensitive, like a sensitive soul. Like you see things, you easily connect with nature. I feel like you're also really good with animals, maybe. You have cats or dogs, multiple animals, or single animals, or you had animals growing up around you. You could be really good with plants, or you're gonna, throughout your life, grow the ability to be really good with plants. And people really see that. They see like you're such a relaxed soul. Like maybe even you love to meditate. I'm also getting like you probably have very distinctive features. It might not be the ideal beauty standard. Um, but more of a very caress... 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 Characteric, characteristic features about you that are very interesting, very intriguing and I'm not saying you're not attractive or people don't perceive you as being attractive in fact I think you are very attractive because you're very different and people love that about you <laughs> we have warrior woman I'm, ah, I love it so have you have you answered to your deepest calling, warrior woman? Yes, you are a warrior. Woman or man, you are a king or a queen. You fight for what you believe in. You fight for yourself. You are a knight in shining armor. And you are not afraid to pull your sword. If something is not good with you, you're gonna pull your friggin' sword. Like, wow. Hmm, you could be an earth sign or I'm also getting Scorpio or like Capricorn, something earthy. It's not about the zodiac sign, but I'm going to pull some monology oracle just to see what your energy is. We have you're very close to achieving your goal. Gibbous, Gibbous moon. So people see within you that you are very close to achieving your goals, that you can manifest whatever, and you're very close to building your empire, building your dream life. And it's not about cars and girls and partying and stuff. It's more about like things that you are proud of. People see within you the potential to really build something for yourself. Surrender to the divine. Yeah, people see that you are protected. You are guided by your spirit by spirit guides, your angels, whatever you believe in. The divine is always on your side and the universe is watching over you. <laughs> the energy is gaining momentum. So maybe right now you're kind of set back, settling and just having the need to relax I'm also feeling like people see within you that you are very deep and you take your time to reflect and you have a lot of energy but you don't waste it on anything that's not worth it very beautiful reading guys I hope you enjoyed if you did give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to and if you feel like it. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Hello loves, if you chose this selenite um, crystal, then this is your reading. This is pile number two. Pile number dos. So what do people see within you or see within your eyes that you don't recognize yourself what do people see within my pile two's eyes 
do people recognize of my pile twos that they don't see themselves? <laughs> Wowzy. Woohoo! We have two kings here. So we have the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So what people see within yourself is royalty. <laughs> Again, I'm just saying this right away. It's not about gender, it's about the energy. So if you are a queen, just switch roles. Um, you have infinite power and blessings. That's what people see within your eyes. Stable, grounded, beautiful, strong, protective, a king, a king of the earth element, a king of pentacles. People think or people see within you that you have everything you need to activate the king or queen energy within you for your life, for your life purpose, for the things that you want. You can rule your empire. Then we have the King of Swords. Someone who's really good, intelligent with their tongue, their communication. A plus. Maybe you're someone who can talk really, really well. Someone who can talk people into things or out of things easily. And I'm not saying you're really good at manipulation. I'm just saying that you have this talent of talking, making people feel good and, and open up to you, I feel like. You could be like a therapist or someone, um, you talk to a lot of people, I feel like, or like a event manager, like you're like in touch with a ton of people. I mean, of course, like we're in, at least in Germany, we're in lockdown with everything in the world going on. But you are someone who's really assertive and like people respect you. Like you can walk into a room and you just have this energy that people respect and they would not want to cross you. Some people might even be afraid of you because the King of Swords, like he doesn't look like someone you want to mess with. <laughs> So some people may even be like a little bit like you better not cross them like be careful with them they cut you off like hmm interesting I have we have this two, these two polarities here so the earth energy and the air energy and I feel like you have a lot of warm energy but you also have a lot of air energy so if something's like not right like you can make people shiver, you can just give them the cold shoulder. Even if you're unaware of this, like you can just put on a switch and you're just like super sophisticated. Like people would just take their distance a little bit more. But then we also have the Three of Cups and the Three of Cups often for me represent represents partying, celebrating, a get-together. People see within you that you get along with a lot of people or they see in your eyes that you can make friends easily with other people and you're a very soft soul actually that can connect with many many people. And I also am getting like you work with a lot of people. Correct me if that's wrong. Multiple people are watching this video. But I feel like you're really good with people. And you see a lot of people often. And people admire that about you. Like they see within you this potential to rule. The magician just flew out. So like people, you might be like a CEO or you just started a business. You're like ahead of the game. You don't even have to have a position like that. It could just mean that people like respect you for your work, 
for how you for what you believe in people think you are a powerful powerful person a powerful manifester even amazing you could be a fire sign or maybe even an air sign i'm also getting i'm all i actually getting like all zodiac signs here but all elements You could also be very spiritual or very religious and people see within your eyes. Like, I think like as soon as people look into your eyes, they respect you. They have this deep respect. They feel like they cannot, I don't know, maybe you're like a very old soul and people have just this, like they're just like shook by who you are. We have new moon in Taurus for your moonology oracle. Yes. You may be a Taurus or have that in your chart or you just have a lot of earth energy in your in your zodiac chart. And Tauruses are like really not sophisticated, but Tauruses can be a little bit possessive but very very powerful. And I feel like people see that within you. Then we have also again Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. So you might be a very practical person. Or someone who actually needs to be a little bit more practical and grounded. And then we have a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Yeah, I'm also getting that Aries energy. Even if you're not an Aries or a fire sign. You might have that in your chart, or you just have a lot of um, character characteristics of a Taurus and an ooh, an Aries because Aries are straightforward. They take they take they don't take no for an answer. Like you're someone who is just always striving to go higher, to achieve more very ambitious and maybe you're like oh i don't do enough like i'm not that ambitious people see that within you and people see this power that you have that you might already have unlocked or that you need to unlock within you because i feel like you are an achiever you can achieve anything and people see that within you and i feel like you're also very attractive you might be very tall like very um slim um, I'm also getting blue eyes but you know it is not necessary it's more like I'm seeing suits also you might wear suits or you actually want to wear suits or you think that suits really suit you <laughs> unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives I feel like you might be carrying a lot of karma with you in this life and you might get yourself into situations where you're like why do I have to experience this why do I have to go through this why me why me hmm and people see like your potential and then the things you struggle with and they do not understand because there's something you might do in your life that doesn't serve you and then you just end up in this cycle and things happen to you over and over again even though you are the strong powerful celebrating manifesting person that has so many powers i also feel like you have a lot of masculine energy it it's it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man we carry feminine and masculine energy within us but i feel like the way you handle yourself and the way you the way you interact with a lot of people might be with a lot of masculine energy if you are a woman or a man it doesn't matter i feel like it's really important for you to to balance these both energies out because feminine energy is just as important for a man or a woman to have this balance you know and i feel like that will also help um with like karmic connections karmic cycles, um, reliving things that you want to let go of. And then we have, yes, 
just say yes. I feel like you are very inviting like if you're a guy I feel like a lot of women like you or a lot of women see potential within you and because you're so good looking and you have this power and this strength but I feel like there's still something within you that needs to be, be balanced maybe you have very chaotic a very chaotic mind you cannot really calm down when you need to and meditation really helps with that You might have like a really, like, I don't know why, but I, I'm seeing this like wild blue, like ocean blue eyes, but like a stormy sea, you know, where there's just a lot of thunder and storm, like a real Viking energy, even if you're a woman. Um, but I feel like there is something that needs to be balanced and people, even if they can't pin it down, I feel like people can just see that within your eyes that something needs to be a little bit more balanced within you. I hope this reading was entertaining and gave you a little bit of clarity and you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Hello, my loves! If you chose this um, crystal, then this is your reading. This is pile number three. I'm gonna start with my wider weight right away, Tara. So what do you see, what do people see within your eyes that you may not recognize? Or what do people see within you that you don't recognize? A lot. <laughs> The first card that fell out was the world. Your people see that you're a good friend, a good ally, someone who's trustworthy and worth opening up to. You're just the world to a lot of people. Maybe people feel like they have like a really deep connection even they don't know you that well, but they feel really comfortable close to you. You might be also very, very attractive, especially if you're a woman, I feel like you're like really cute and people just feel like so like, oh, these features, you're so cute. You might be really small also, but people, you're just the world to people. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. People feel like you're very lucky, you're very fortunate. And you're, they also feel like, they see within yourself that there's a lot of fortune coming for you and you might not recognize that but there's a lot of fortune coming for you maybe even a lot of travel with the world card or just a lot of things that will mean the world to you you know sometimes we can like feel how some people are so lucky and so fortunate and that the universe just means it really, really well with this person and this is you. And this is what people see within your eyes. I also feel like you're probably very spiritual and like mystical. People see this knowledge within you. Also this lust for more information to, to study whatever you're interested in. Then we have the Page of Cups. And I, as I said, you people want to be friends with you. Like People feel so drawn to you. They just want you in their life, in their world. They want to be friends with you. They, you. they want them that you are a part of their life in some sort of form. And I also am getting with the Page of Cups because the Page of Cups often represents a child or a birth that people want to have a baby with you. If you're a guy or a woman, it doesn't matter if you're a woman, a lot of people see within you that you will be a good mother or a good father. And you know, the opposite sex can imagine having a child with you because you're just, they see you and they just 
kind of get this feeling of you being a good mother or a good father. That is really beautiful. Also, I feel like people see within you something so precious that a lot of people make themselves codependent to you like they want to cling on to you and not let you go because if this person is holding the cup with the fish and they're just kind of like i want to have you to myself you're so precious people see this potential in you to do good in the world to bring something to this planet that is very very valuable you might be a very bright bright soul maybe even a very old soul and people can see your aura and it's very light and bright and positive and people just love to be around you even people that might be not good for you i feel like people just really want to hold on to your energy because it's so good because if you're sur surrounded by people with a lot of good energy sooner or later this energy will <sighs> in um will will be positive for them too so it will also affect their energy and their life and then we have strength and i feel like if you're really small and petite like people still think you're so freaking strong and confident and you're just like a leo like walking your own path, owning up to your life and you bring something to this world that is very strong and very inspiring. I'm really getting this inspiration for a lot of people. Maybe you're very spiritual and you just make people think a little bit deeper. Maybe you have an Instagram and you post deep quotes and people really feel so drawn to you because you're so different and they just feel like they want a piece of the cake, if that makes sense. Because they can sense your growth, your, your growth, your evolution, your strength, your confidence. You came, you maybe came from nothing and you built yourself up by yourself. People can sense that and as I said, they want a piece of the cake. So you got to be very careful, but all people around you can see that within you dance with life do something to change your energy and i really feel like you have already changed a lot maybe the past year the past few years you have really transformed into a very positive light bulb being and people can feel that and people love it you dance with life this is literally you, your energy this picture very beautiful and then we have leap you go first the universe will catch you you're very divinely guided i feel like also it's really important for you to take a leap of faith maybe you've already taken a leap of faith to go where your happiness is um and people really see like you you have this like peter pan syndrome like you can fly whenever you're happy, whenever you feel good, whenever you're positive. And that makes you very, very, very strong. So don't let anybody ever tell you you're not beautiful, or you're not strong, or you can't do this, can't do that. Stay within your happiness, within your positivity. Dance with life, enjoy life. Um, and protect your cake, Pot protect your piece of cake. Um, protect your your energy and go for what you want because people can see how beautiful you are in and out they can see it they might not tell you because there's a lot of people who are jealous i'm also getting that haha -ha. a personal issue reaches resolution cancer so I wanted to pick some zodiac sign oracle and cancer flies out. This goes perfectly with this cup energy that we have here with the page of cups. I'm also feeling like you're a very soft, very sensitive being. Even if you say, no, man, I'm like strong and blah, blah, blah. Yes, but I'm talking from the inside, from your soul. 
like you are very intuitive, like you're a moon child, you're a cancer maybe, or have that in your chart, or you just have a lot of similarities with the cancer zodiac sign. Be bold and make the first move. Yes, I feel like if you make the first move, you can achieve anything. If you just stay true to yourself, stay true to your energy, and people will just be in the background being your cheerleader, like, because they know you can do it all. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you found it very entertaining. And, um you enjoyed it <laughs> and without me bubbling for so much longer um, have a beautiful day and make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I see you all next time hello my loves if you chose the clear quartz the clear quartz crystal then this is your reading this is pile number four I'm going to use my wide awake crystal. Oh wow, I've already seen wide awake tarot. <laughs> I've already seen the queen of cups. So this might be the pile of queens and kings, of course. So what do people see within your eyes? What do people see within you that you might not recognize yourself. We have the six of pentacles. I feel like what people see within your eyes is that you're very balanced, you're probably very honest and you're a very giving person. You might struggle with the help syndrome and you're really, you're like that helping hand, someone who wants to make other people feel good and, and make other people feel con comfortable and confident and you want to pour into people's cups like you're someone who wants to help better other people's lives or you're someone who gives your friends a lot of ooh, um important advice um, and I feel like people really see that you would share with the people who have less than you have they see that with you within you and I feel like people really admire that because you're such a good person um, and then we have the four of cups I feel like people see within you that you sometimes struggle to let people lend you a hand. Maybe you're someone who doesn't want to want other people to help you. you. Okay, this is quite funny because you want to help other people and you want to do good for people but you don't want people to help you or you don't like when people want to help you because you feel like you want to do it on your own and people really see that that sometimes you can't really reciproc reciprocate that giving energy and if you want to give it's really important also to take because at the end of the day um, if you only give 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 that can get you very very worked up it can get you very um, weak because you're putting all the energy into other people which is a beautiful thing but it's important that it is balanced and that you can um, still put yourself first and not only live for other people. <laughs> I'm also getting that people might see within yourself that you're very stubborn, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It just means you're very hard headed and, and you have, if you have a certain direction, that's the di direction you want to take and you don't want other people to kind of influence you or talk you out of your plans. Um, and then we have the Ace of Wands. So I feel like you have a lot of fire. You have a lot of good qualities, a lot of passion. You want to build something within your life. And people really see this fire within you. I feel like when people look into your eyes or when they 
reflect on your person. I feel like people think you are very, very fiery. You have this passion, this love, lust, like all of the above. So much power, so much drive. And you're also someone who doesn't, like, you can share your energy with other people. Like, you want to in, inflame other people with your vision, with your passion. You want to, like, make other people see what you see, which is very daunting, very beautiful, very passionate. And people just see your, your giving nature. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles for me often represents people collaborating with each other. You might, um, people might see you as a, as a people pleaser or as a team player. Um, someone who can like interact with people really, really well. But still you want to like not let other people help you. Um, and it's really hard for them to get grounded with you, even though you have all these ideas, all these fantasies, um, and all this potential and power and drive and passion. But I feel like you need to, or people feel like you need to learn to let other, other people collaborate with you. Let other people in. Maybe people think you're a little bit standoffish. Um, but they're so intrigued by your energy, by your eyes, by your being. I feel like you're very dreamy, like really like people just see that in your eyes. Like they see this. I feel like you have a lot of ideas and it's good to stick to one idea and really put all your power and your passion into it instead of um, going from one thing to another, you know. Um, and I'm not trying to call you out or anything. It's just what is coming out to me. But people still think you're like so... I also feel like you're probably very sexy. Like the way you talk, the way you are... Um, the way you handle yourself with so much drive and passion. And they see also a little bit like sophisticated, like you have this sophisticated vibe to you. Um, and I'm actually not surprised because I pulled two oracle cards and we have align your life. What is not aligned? Or needs to change and I feel like you have so much potential you have so much power so much drive you're so inspiring to people you have a lot of lust for life lust for life like you're such a living breathing inspiring cool person people really see that but people also see that something is not <laughs> aligned and that you need to focus more like put the focus like not be so like all over the not all over the place but something just needs to be aligned and I feel like you probably know what this means maybe you need to get more organized or wake up more early in the morning get your routine right your your eating habits your sleeping patterns maybe you have a little bit of unhealthy um, ways of being but there's so much potential, like as soon as you put your mind to one thing, people really see you th thriving. I feel like you have this sizzling fire in your eyes and it's really intoxicating and people just love to listen to you. Like I feel like they love to listen to you, they love to look at you. The whole package is just so nice, but still there's this energy of you needing to align something within you and then we have get grounded and I'm also not surprised and it says empaths highly sensitive connect with nature so there's something within your life that needs to be grounded that needs to be a little bit more stable maybe it would help you if you connect with nature more you go on a walk and just breathe the fresh air go outside get some vitamin d 
I feel like you're probably an empath, a highly sensitive, but you probably are, you could be an old soul or a younger soul and everything here on this planet is still a little bit like making you feel like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that and should I go for this and that and oh, I really want to try that. It's like kind of that energy and if you don't like resonate with that message, it just is something in your life that is not aligned. And people just kind of get that feeling that, yeah. But I still think, um, or I think that people see this potential in you. So let's pull some zodiac sign oracle, moonology card signs. I'm hearing a motorcycle. I'm so in love with motorcycles. Maybe you're a real badass, like, you don't necessarily have to drive a motorcycle, but people just see you as this badass. And again, doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. I don't know if you can hear that. So we have prosperity lies ahead. Yes, you're a very prosperous, abundant person. You have a lot of potential and people see within you this power to create the life you truly want to live in, to build your empire, to, to do all these things you want to do because you have this passion. Maybe you also, people see with you that they could see themselves collaborating with you, like building a business, but they feel like something needs to align in order for this business to grow because they feel like something is not stable and the business will not go as well unless you work on this. And then we have prospect. Oh, I just talked about it, I'm sorry. Um, and then we have the, oh, this is actually new moon in Taurus. So you could be an earth sign or have Taurus in your chart or you just have traits of a Taurus. Maybe you're a little bit lazy because a lot of Tauruses, they're like, let other people do the work. And sometimes they're a little bit, you know, lazy. They still get shit done, but they just sometimes are a little bit lazy, you know? We have the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. You could have that in your chart, or you could be a Gemini, like I am, because I'm a Gemini. <laughs> um, or just have, like, a lot of energy of um, Geminis of that Gemini energy, yeah, and I feel like you really flip-flop, like once you want this, then you want that, and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna do it like this, and then you're like, oh, better, I'm gonna do it like that. Geminis are like that um, on and off energy that, you know, do this, do that, do this, do that, constant changes of their thoughts, constant changes of their interests. And that's what people see within your eyes. I feel like you probably have a lot of interests, a lot of hobbies. Like people see that you have a lot of passions. And that I also feel like people love to listen to you. Like when you talk, it's like so refreshing, so fresh energy, so nice to listen to you. Very intoxicating, very sexy. Um, yeah. This was your reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> it was really short and sweet, but that were all the messages that came up. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was entertaining, and I hope you have a beautiful day. See you all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>